Welcome back to Bros and Shows. I'm Anthony. I'm Hunter. And we're here for Season 3, Episode 3 of The Walking Dead. We took a little break. Yeah, we, uh, well, I mean, it, well, yeah, we took a pretty big break, but, um, <laughs> It was. I think we we watched episode one or two on the twenty first of December. I thought I was going to be able to get them to you before Christmas, New Year's. I wasn't. It's okay. Um, but by this one, uh, I mean one and two are definitely out at this point. So hope you're enjoying it with us. This one's called "Walk with Me." Um, <laughs> Sounds like kinda, a song. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of like just dealing with the aftermath still of Herschel losing his leg and meeting the prisoners um, in the last episode. Again, I don't really remember the prisoners' names. I know the long-haired blonde guy's name is Axel. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any of the other prisoners' don't names. Don't ask me. You yeah, know how I, know I am bad with names. <laughs> um, but the one guy that you, you know who I'm talking about, the asshole, yeah. um, he got got by Rick. Um, he the one tried, with the revolver, right? Uh, it, it was a six-shooter. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't a python like Rick's revolver. <laughs> yeah. He had a little bitch boy revolver. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He got got. He kept trying to like take swipes at Rick and claim that they were accident. Sh <laughs> shit happens, you know. But like, no. Uh, he literally tried to take his head off with a machete, and then he threw a walker at him. And that Rick, that yeah, look, dude. that look that Rick had. Oh yeah. There, he's like, I get it. The old Rick, maybe like the first season, he might have tried to be more cool with it, but not this Rick. Nope. This Rick was like, okay, cool. Yeah, makes season, this easy. Season one, Rick would have handcuffed that guy to a roof. Yeah, um. yeah, exactly. <laughs> we still is he still around? I now that you even brought that up, I completely forgot. Yeah, it's funny they kind of abandon what's going on with him after um, he loses his hand. Yeah, you know, we never bring it back. Yeah, so it's like I don't know. We move um, on. Yeah, you have to, I guess. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Keep yeah. looking for him. Um, but yeah, so we're kind of just like still hunkering down at the prison, trying to make this place a home. Um, they've got their work cut out for them. Oh, yeah. Because, yes, it's the best place they've had in, I don't know, nine to ten months probably, eight to ten months. But, um, well, no, because the prisoners said they've been in there for ten months. So mm -hmm. that means they were on the road for probably six or seven. So I, and I read a lot of comments. Some of the comments are, like, conflicting with each other, so I don't really know what to believe <laughs> how long they were on the road, but it doesn't really matter. We're here now. <laughs> And we're safe for now, at least from the zombies that are we'll outside. See. We still gotta clear all the <laughs> and rest people of them. though, like yeah. that. Like I can imagine. Oh. Well, also the uh, there was somebody watching Carol. That's right, because Carol was doing the C-section on that corpse to practice for Lori's birth, um, and somebody was watching her from the woods. So we don't know who that is either. And then we still got Andrea and the samurai. Mm -hmm. Andrea and samurai lady. We got. I don't think they've said her name yet. If they did in the last one. I don't want to ruin it for Anthony, so I'm just going to call her Samurai Lady with Anthony for now. She'll always be the Samurai Lady. To yeah, me. fair enough. <laughs> you want to hop right into Walk With Me? Yeah! I love when Rick goes, shut up. <laughs> I watched him in a movie recently with this British accent. It was throwing me off the entire time. Whiskey one, two, whiskey one, two, do you copy? No way. Go to 180. Close the distance. Get back in contact. Now, is this like a unit, or is this just like these three dudes just have the setup right now? Well, they did have the setup. Helicopter crashes really never go well. <laughs> right as he says that. Yeah. I mean, who's gonna come and get you right now? Is this before everything went shit? ways you can crash a helicopter i mean better uh, better to hit trees than the ground oh absolutely but yeah that's not modern day <laughs> or that is modern day it's not um yeah pre-zombies so i'm wondering if there's some 
part of the military that's still like active trying to do things. Oh, there's some zombies. <laughs> Must have been like, oh my god, a helicopter. Oh. Yeah, absolutely, right? Yeah. She's still not feeling good, huh? Just being regular sick in the zombie apocalypse has got to suck. Oh, absolutely. No AC, no medicine. Yeah. Got to keep moving because those things don't rest. I love uh, how, like, they basically become docile. Yeah, I mean, they can't really do anything. Like, did you think they accepted or, like, you know what must. I mean? They must have. Otherwise, they'd be all over them. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I wonder if she knows that they'll change even after. Oh, God. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, that's a bad way to go. Oh, he got yeah, he got sliced by that. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yep. That's always like the always what I would think about when a helicopter crashed. That blade, dude. Yep. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to just be like, hey, everybody. Like, yeah, yeah, like you, you be better run. Any survivors? And like they're just standing there, right? Smart. Uh, breather. Tip. Are you saving him? We should show ourselves. Mm, we still don't know his intentions yeah. or who they are. Yeah, I would I would wait. Damn, did that dude already change? Yeah, oh, damn, yeah, he already changed. Oh, they're gonna give her a position. Oh, absolutely. Some more later. Dude, he's got a scope. There's no way he doesn't see them. Right? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those bushes aren't even that thick. <laughs> No way. Down you went. That voice is unmistakable. Yeah, no way. It just <laughs> guardians of the galaxy. Nice and easy. And let me see your hands. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, that would be crazy <laughs> to run into somebody. Damn. You look good. Yeah, I was about a big hug for your old pal, Murray. <laughs> He's back. Right? Oh no shit. Why are we being held here? 
We want to leave. You're not well enough, and it's dark. You should stay the night. Ooh. Where are we? <sighs> I'd be worried too, but I would definitely accept medical it's care. Not yeah. They obviously got some stuff going on. They got electricity. Mm -hmm. Go check on your patient, Doc. You know, when they found me, I was near bled out. Starving. Thinking to myself, a bullet might make a good last meal. Yeah. Take myself a nice long nap. Wait for Daryl on the other side. You see my brother? Not since the farm. Mm -hmm. Not for a long time. Next two of us. <laughs> he went back for you. And the Rick. You were already gone. Yeah, well. <laughs> Not all of me. Oof. That's rough. Oof. <laughs> yeah, Rick. That's gotta hurt. He's that prick yeah. that cuffed me to the rooftop. Yeah. He tried. Daryl saw that. We had to leave Atlanta. We wound up on a farm. Daryl stepped up. Became a valued member of the group. Hell yeah. Now he's dead. I don't know that for sure. We got run off by a herd. How long ago? Seven, eight months. Thank you. All right, now we know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I was separated from the rest of them. Got left behind. What do you want from us? There she sits. Four walls around her, roof over her head, medicine in her veins. She wants to know what I want from her. It's a fair question, especially with you. I plucked you and your mute here out of the dirt, Lonnie. Saved your asses. How about a thank you? You had a gun on us. Well, Ooh, that's necessary precaution. <laughs> oh, who ain't had a gun on him in the past year, huh? Show of hands, huh? Anybody? Hmm? <laughs> I think I'd piss my pants if some stranger come walking up with his mitts in his pockets. That'd be a son of a bitch you'd really want to be Thank scared. Thank you. No, she didn't like that. Oh, so that's the leader, huh? Yes, sir. How are you feeling? We want our weapons. Sure. On your way out the front gates. Show us the way. You've kept us locked up in this room. You see any bars on the windows? You're being cared for. Under guard. To protect all people. We don't know you. We know enough about you to want out of this place. We watched you drive a knife into the skulls of two dead men. What the hell was that all about? Oh, she doesn't know. Nope. That's, she doesn't know. They turned. They weren't bitten. Everyone turns, you silly goose. Doesn't matter. However we die, we all turn. I put them out of their misery. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. He's right. 100% correct. Yeah. You're not prisoners here, you're guests. If you want to leave, as I said, you're free to do so. But we don't open the gates past dusk. It draws too much attention. Oh, dang. They got the setup, huh? Welcome to Woodbury. Got a nice little society. 
Got a nurse or a doctor. Would be some power. They got tiki torches. Right? That's it's how you smart. Know it's nice. Yeah, it's smart though. Conserve power. Thank you. Are you military? Hardly. A couple of vets, but by and large, are self trained. That's heavy yep. artillery they're packing. Some men arrive with guns, but most of the weapons were scavenged over time. On the other side of town, the rest of the streets, they're all guarded like this? Yeah, Andrea's seen nothing like this yet. Yeah. yeah. The most she's seen is the farm and the CDC. Other than that, it's been road for mm -hmm. her. Got us a creeper, Governor. Got him. He brought his buddies. And that's that. Yeah. It's clear. We'll get them in the morning. Can't leave them to rot. Creates an odor. Makes people uneasy. What people? There's nobody here. Middle of the night, lady. Come. This way. You'll be more comfortable Andrew's here. Becoming more relaxed and Not accepting. Not four seasons, but there's a hot shower. Water's limited, so I'll keep it short. Hot shower, yeah. dude. Food and food. water. Fresh clothes. <laughs> over this wood. A warm bed. Yeah, that's heaven right there. I know you'd feel better with your sword, more secure, but it's safe here. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> she is not happy. No, it. she's got the tood. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, here they are. It's real. If you were out there for a long time, the more you were, the governor was doing this. How many people do you have here? 73. Eileen's about to pop, so her kid will make it 74. Still a work in progress, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Walls haven't been breached in well over a month. We haven't suffered a casualty on the inside since early winter. How's that possible? Our governor has set a strict curfew. Nobody out after dark. Noise and light are kept to the bare minimum. Armed guards on the fence and patrolling the perimeter to keep the biters away. Oh, they're civilized. Like they, they're trying to keep the old society together, like with this, how Dale was wanting. The fences held. People were protected. Food and supplies were lasting. Then one of the men inside got better. Not sure how. He went haywire. Panic swept through the camp. Someone opened the gate to escape. <laughs> Others were bent and infected. One person can ruin it all. Oh, yeah. The whole place went to hell in a few hours. My team grabbed whatever supplies and vehicles we could and abandoned our post. <coughs> How many of you escaped? There was a team in my group. We, uh, we got maybe 60 miles from the post before getting jammed up on the highway. Let me go find the rest. Bring them here, or they'll escape. They're out there waiting for you. Exposed. Tell me where they are, and I promise, if they're still alive, I'll bring them in. Yeah, more capable soldiers for the perimeter. Definitely. Finish your homework. Unfortunately, the dog's eating it already. What the hell you call me? Hey, where are we? Back in the schoolyard. Wait, you wanna take his lunch money while you're at it? I was trying to smoke in here. And you expect better. Keep poking the bear, and you're bound to get mauled. I mean, he's such a little rat. Yeah. He was smoking. About the girl. Name's Andrea. But you know her. 
You found that group in Atlanta? Yeah. Roof? Same one left me on the roof. Forced me to mutilate myself. Did she know your brother? Daryl? Yeah, she did. Then talk to her again. See what else you can find out. He's always trying to get information. What do you make of it? Oh, pretty impressive, really. Major kudos for ingenuity. You take away their arms so they can't grab you. Take away their jaws so they can't bite you. Take away their ability to eat. They lose interest in doing so. Yep. Oh, OK. In attack mode. We can be in their presence without threat. They're, they become docile, in a sense. Lurkers. Mm, docile. Or lurkers, you know, whatever you like. Why well, keep them? Oh, repellent. Yeah. Low profile, that's smart. They're still pretty thin. If they're not eating, why don't they starve? They are starving. Uh, they just do it slower than we do. Feels like we're trying to impose logic on the chaos. That is not a bad thing. No, but what does it buy us? More questions, more theories, no answers. Not yet. Whole new thing. If I could talk to those women. And morals handling. I don't want to question your judgment, Governor. Sure you do. <laughs> That's why I need you. With all due respect, letting Merle talk to those women unsupervised is a mistake. Now, you've always said every toolkit needs a hammer, but do you really feel a hammer is the right tool for that job? Yeah, I mean, I yeah. agree. Merle's a little rough around the edges. Absolutely. Especially with Michonne, who's clearly on edge. Hey, yeah. Hard to believe you ladies lasted so long out there. We managed. Oh, we're impressed. Very. Survival in the wild is tough sledding. Wake up every morning on Just the ground. Just looking right at it, the guitar. Today. Will it be quick and final or slow and... Well, will that end? Does someone have the good sense to kill my brain or will it come back as one of them? Do you think they remember anything? The person they once were? I don't think about it. <laughs> No one believes there might be a trace of the person they were. Still trapped inside. Like an echo. Surely it must have crossed your mind. Dude's kind of creepy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right before I tried to bite me. <laughs> so what you have here, you expect it to hold? What if a herd comes through? It'll hold. <laughs> What's your secret? Really big walls. <laughs> <laughs> My soldier had walls too, and we all know how that turned out. So. I guess we do. The real secret is what goes on within these walls. Can maintaining it's order. Yeah. Back to who we were, who we really are. Just waiting to be saved. And people here have homes, medical care, kids go to school. Adults have jobs to do. It's a sense of purpose. We're a community. With a lot of guns and ammunition. Never hurts. And really big walls. <laughs> and men willing to risk everything to defend them. Compromise our safety. Destroy our community. I'll die before I let that happen. Still don't know about him. Feel like it looks good. To civilization, then. Excuse me. You don't Better trust him? Tea? I don't know. Excuse me. I don't know. Maybe I'm comparing him too much to the guy Sorry, from The Last right, of Us sure. with his civilization. True. We want our weapons. Well, we can make these meals to go, and your weapons will be waiting outside, but you should take time to relax. Get your strength back. 
And he's really like trying to keep him there, it seems like, you know? Yeah. I like what you see. What happens when they outgrow their surround? Like you have their... to build out. Yeah, you, you have know? to, right? Have you ever trusted anybody? Yeah. And give us a day or two. That's all I'm asking. And time to get our shit together. My shit never stopped being together. Didn't look that way when Milton asked about your lockers. I'm surprised he didn't get a fucking giant out of his damn business. Guess it's none of mine either. Seven months together, all we've been through. I still feel like I hardly know you. I'm sorry, it's the truth. I mean, come on, you know everything about me, and I don't know enough. Those walkers were with us all winter long, protecting us, and you took them out without any hesitation. That, that has... It was easier than you think. the homies oh snap 50 cal on the back big old torture corp hey 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 don't shoot identify yourself no oh, hey 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 we found your guy wells lieutenant wells the chopper went down well, where is he we got a little settlement. Now nah, he's he's badly hurt, but he's alive. And the other guys didn't make it. I'm sorry. But Wells, he told me I would find you here. He wants me to bring you to help. They found Wells. They got him. They found him. We sure did. We found you too. Oh, what? Surprise will kill anybody. Why though? I think they value the weapons more than they value those men that they don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you don't trust him? <laughs> Pick out the rest of these weapons. Yes, sir. Never waste a bullet. Go put a muscle into that young man, please. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never really understood. I mean, it had to just be for the weapons, and they didn't want to bring ten more. Yeah, no, military he, age military men into their settlement. Yeah, you know, like he probably thought it could be a problem. Yeah, but like, damn, I mean, that's a pretty final solution for that. How you but they get vehicles, yeah. weapons, ammunition. We brought in three new people yesterday. One was a helicopter pilot with a National Guard outfit. Even though he's clinging to life, he told us about his convoy on the highway. His men. You I killed promised them all. I'd bring him back here alive. But they didn't have all walls. Oh, yeah, he's a politician. Or our fences. Definitely. Yeah. Fighters got there before we did. Now, the men had trucks. The trucks had weapons, food, medicine, things we need. Now, we didn't know them. But we'll honor their sacrifice <sighs> by not taking what we have here for granted. Won't be long before dark, so go on home. Thankful for what you have. Watch out for each other. Ah, 
I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling about this dude. And, like, to make that lie a reality, you have to have all your men Jeez. sworn to silence, and they have to believe that what you're doing is right. Mm-hmm. They just slaughtered ten oh, men. Yeah. You know, like... Long day. Haven't had many short ones lately. You always fall in for the wrong guys, Andrea. <laughs> what you mean? If it's not asking too much. I never tell. Never say never. Never. Any guess as to what his real name is? Because I'm pretty sure you find out eventually. I just don't remember it. Hmm. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Politician. Sleeping with the secretary. Mm-hmm. Always, right? Oh, he had a family. Yeah, who's that look like? Ah, uh, yeah. this room So he collects? Oh, the pilot! That's right. Killed him. So this is a trophy room for this dude? Yeah, this dude's a creep. <laughs> like, the ultimate, like, I'm a good guy, but really I'm a real piece of shit. Like, he's got everyone fooled perfectly. Except for, like, the people working directly for him, doing the dirty business with him. What I never understood is, like, how does he determine who gets to live and who doesn't, you know? Because, like, he's got a bunch of military-age men working for him, and he took Merlin. So what's his criteria? Because all those military guys could have been quite useful. But at the same time, you're bringing in ten alpha men. Trained, yeah. Trained to kill. They're going to follow uh, the lieutenant's orders. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. I never even thought about it like that. Like, they already have their loyalty to their lieutenant. He's the leader, you know? I I feel like if you have a leader already... Too conflicting, yeah. Then he doesn't accept you. Like, you have to be on your own, and you have to need him. And, And yeah, so, like, Meryl said, he was bleeding out star... Meryl, sorry, sorry. Meryl, (laughs) sorry. Meryl and Daryl. That's why he says... (laughs) It's Meryl. Meryl! Just keep calling him Meryl. Yeah, well, you know what I'm talking about. That piece of shit. Yeah. But I like you were just saying, like he even described his situation when he got found. He was starving and right. bleeding out, exactly. so in need of their help. And then, like you're, yeah, absolutely. I think that's actually the answer. Yeah, you like, have to owe him a debt, or he can control you easily. Exactly, yeah. he has to save your life to like accept you into the community. Now, what's because... with that trophy room, bro? That's like psycho. Like that's serial killer mentality right there. Hundred percent. You're hundred yeah. percent right. It is serial killer mentality, or at least sociopath mentality. Yeah. Um, it, it, uh, dude. <laughs> And like we didn't even see Rick or any anything going on in the prison this episode either. None. It was literally just this. And I, I have a feeling those two are gonna run into each other and it's gonna be quite the show. Do you think that well, I, I still want clarification as to who was watching Carol in episode two? Do you think it was anybody from this group or Well, I they'd have to be pretty close then to the prison I don't I honestly don't even remember if we got like clarification on that because it's been so many years since I've seen this, but I guess we're going to find out. I don't know, but that was a great introduction to the governor. I've been waiting for him to show up. Um, He had me full. Like, I had a feeling. I didn't think it was that bad, though. You know what I mean? Like, he was doing things that were a little shady. 
Yeah, but not like to the point where he's just murdering people because out of fear and then... I think we hit the nail on the head, though. I really do. I think that if you have a leader or if you have a group that you're already loyal to, he won't accept you into his group. So Rick and Daryl are probably going to be... Yeah, I mean, they fit the criteria for people that he would not accept, for sure. Um, But I guess we'll find out in episode four. This was episode three. I think this was called Walk With Us. Yes. Um, Next episode is Killer Within. So that'll be interesting. Um, I did... You did find out Michonne's name. So now you can call her Samurai Lady or Michonne. I don't care which. Michonne sounds like a Samurai Lady. I'm going to call her Michonne. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for uh, for watching this with us. I know we're building such a such a great little Walking Dead community Hell here on YouTube. Yeah. And it just makes me so happy to talk to you guys all about um, this show. And I, I can literally feel how passionate you all are about it just by reading the comments. It's honestly one of the best parts of my day is watching the premiere with you guys and then talking to it. Uh, to all of you in the comment section about it um so just wanted to say thanks for that and uh appreciate you guys make sure you like comment subscribe join us on discord if you haven't already if you're into discord and stuff like that if you're a gamer we play minecraft we've got a little bros and shows minecraft server you can join us we play a couple times a week pretty fun um just trying to build our community become friends with all y'all and uh Cheers to a great 2024 we'll see you in episode four yes i'm hunter i'm anthony Bye. A bada be boo, a bada ba 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 ba.